Picasso is the modern image painter. Modern image painting is an original art movement that transcends all traditional and previous approaches to creating art. It begins with a foundation painting and evolves to become an exclusive new art form. The movement embraces Calavito's philosophy that art and life are about continual diversification through knowledge and experience. We're here with Michael Colavito of an artist, Colavito Image Painting, here at his studio, or one of his studios, I should say. Uh, Michael, tell us what is modern image painting? A Colavito modern image painting is a new art style that I developed over a 25-year period. It's about complete purity in film work. My photography, my cinematography, and everything that goes in is without computers, it's without special effects editing, it's without blue or green screen, and it's really a tribute to the organic process of picture taking and not about post-capture, you know, Adobe Illustrator type special effects. What draws you to being such a purist? I mean, it's the age of digital and, and, and Photoshop, and I, I know I'm always fixing things in the sure. editing room. I'm, uh, tell us a little bit more about the process and what draws you to this purity. For me as an artist, for as long as I can remember, since I was a young kid, I knew for sure that to create art that overlaps other artists would not really you know, present a platform of originality, which is what I believe in when I create art. The original, never done before aspect of what I do is what has motivated me and allowed me to continue to push the creative envelope. So it's really about wanting to do something that's so spectacular that isn't a compromise with regard to the way I'm capturing using the film medium. Today's art has been corrupted by computer manipulation. Viewers assume that modern images are digitally altered one way or another. This misconception, along with the ancient belief that art is relegated to paint and canvas, or clay and stone, limits the public's appreciation of art. It is essential for people to evolve because of art, beginning with a distinct understanding of the creative process. I want to also, you know, thank all of the celebrities that have worked with me, particularly Robert De Niro and Mayor Bloomberg, Jeff Koons, Chuck Close. I mean, so many people have witnessed the art, experienced what I'm trying to do, which is, you know, be an original artist, and then allowed me to capture and create art of them. When I met with Mr. De Niro, I mean, I respect him so much, and I'm so grateful that I was able to work with him and capture something very special that hasn't been done before. What happened with Mr. De Niro was, my film Chasing Originality is a film that we're positioning right now, and again, I thank you, Crystal, for you know, having me on this show, because we have an angle, it's called The Broadcasting Project. And what I'm doing is teaming up with numbers of broadcasters like yourself, Barry Z, Joey Reynolds, hopefully on The View pretty soon, you know, they're paying attention to my art. The idea is to team up, and in a collaborative way, to work with broadcasters who are ultimately artists in their own right, and I don't separate art, I mean we're all about the same cultural progression and evolution, and it's just a wonderful thing to be able to stand here and, and thank you again because without this platform and without this way to communicate to the public, you know, the art that I do, it, it really doesn't happen. You know, it doesn't have the magnitude that I'm trying you know, to gain behind the platform we're building. And you were saying, how many frames are, are in, in this? Oh, thank, and, you and <laughs> thank you for asking. Because this is, is just beyond me. I, I know how time consuming, but you explain a little more to our audience. Okay, my, my art, as I said earlier, is about layering and combining my modern sculpture, my paintings, and all of the art that I capture outside of the film mediums come back to the film mediums and I layer this art, again, without the use of special effects. It's all about the organic process of photography. So when I do a still image, and I layer sometimes up to 40 or 50 objects in the one piece of film, which means on the same piece of film I have to photograph and expose the film 20, 30, sometimes even more times than that. When I bring this to life in cinema, I have to do this painstaking process one frame at a time, 
When I reach 24 frames, I have one second of playback. When I created the film Chasing Originality, it comprised 22,440 individual frames that one by one I layered the art on. It was about 15 months of eight hour a day work and it was one of my most incredibly difficult tasks. And now that it's completed and it's part of art history, you know, I'm again very hopeful to leverage this film and the originality behind it and all the inspiration that it provides and to turn it into, you know, money, physical dollars for the charities and the people in need in New York City. Mayor Bloomberg. Let's go to Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, what happened with Mayor Bloomberg was wonderful also. And it was, it was very strange in a sense. I was doing a charity event for the Global Syndicate, and it was about Haiti at the time, and it was several months ago. And, you know, we know how terribly tragic what's going on in Haiti is and how, as an artist, I really want to tie myself into events that matter. And, you know, I thought about it the other day. When I met Mr. You know, Bloomberg, it was at this event. There were many people there. I was commissioned, not commissioned for money, but trying to get a portrait of him for this whole project and to tie the mayor into the politics behind this. So I was fortunate enough to get his attention. And he did kind of what Mr. De Niro did. He started seeing the film and the transparencies of Robert De Niro and Jeff Koons and Chuck Close, you know, artists that he knows because he's one of the most serious patrons for the arts with regard to politicians that I think we've ever had. At any rate, he wanted to see numbers of my transparencies. And I was completely happy and, and really on a natural high when he was asking me questions like, how did you do this, Michael? And he kept repeating himself saying, well, explain how this was done. And I knew, wow, I, I have the attention of, you know, our Honorable Mayor Michael Bloomberg. I have formally requested his endorsement for the film Chasing Originality because, of course, he's the mayor. And with that endorsement, it gives us more power to reach the big corporations in America that we're trying to sell the film to, which I, I'd like to say something about really quickly. What we're doing right now is approaching Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, Kodak, giant corporations in America, to buy this tangible piece of property to be leveraged for charity. But the wonderful thing beyond that is, as I speak now on your program, I will speak to the press on national television and radio again and again and again, and give the company that you know, ties in with this project extreme amounts of attention and really an advertising campaign behind the tangible property that they're buying. I mean, this includes tax write-off incentives, et cetera. But we're trying again to allow corporate America, and I have to say, corporate America has been tremendous in putting money up for charity and people in need. Philanthropists in America are very common, and I have to say, I meet so many celebrities, like all the names I mentioned, Chuck Close, Jeff Koons, Robert De Niro, athletes, one by one by one. I keep hearing stories where these people have raised 50, 70, 100 million dollars in their foundations for people. So I'm just trying to really join in and be part of this ongoing trend where people are trying to tie in, in my case, art for people, but to really use life and the positive side of nature to help people through, again, this specific project. And Mayor Michael Bloomberg was so enthralled by all the work that I feel pretty confident that I'll get the formal endorsement and we'll move forward with the project. And I must say that it's not only your work is great, but you're really a humble, he's a really humble well, man you. and it's just been a wonderful you so opportunity much. and experience for me and I'm Crystal Hart and thanks for watching. Calavito's purpose as an artist is to change the world and to reach everyone with a new and refreshing understanding about art. The modern image painting art movement is dedicated to reinventing the world view of photography, painting, and sculpture as art forms.